it's Megan and today we're going to be reviewing the Funko Legacy Fallout collection. So let's start with the Lone Wanderer figure. This figure is, I believe, the first one. They're both numbered, there's only two. But anyways, this figure is fairly detailed. They did an armored vault suit, which is really nice. The Pip-Boy is sculpted on there as well, along with the little hand thing. I don't know what it's called. Um, he's got cute shoes. The face is a pretty basic face sculpt. It's pretty, uh, why is it not focusing? It's pretty normal. And the few problems with it is the points of articulation kind of don't match up, That at least on mine. So if you can see, right here actually it doesn't match up and then back here doesn't match up even the little line in the front here doesn't match up and he doesn't really move but the paint the paint on this figure is really nice they decided to do like a dirty vault suit which i mean is there any other kind so you can see there's like dusting of dirt all over and then the wrinkles I guess the wrinkles would be a part of the sculpt which is kind of cool it's kind of kind of realistic um yeah and it's the 101 jumpsuit so these are fallout 3 figures which is really nice because we don't have like any fallout 3 merch he has the detail of the 101 on the back the 101 on the collar and the face is a total matte paint job and his eyebrows are beautiful <laughs> they're really thick he has kind of like a basic haircut which I don't even think this is in Fallout 3 because all the haircuts in Fallout 3 suck but that's okay you know this is kind of like the Fallout 4 haircut but we're not gonna judge that um his pit boy is probably my favorite part it's like a really well done metallic gray with a beautiful bright green screen and he comes with a hunting rifle let's get into the next one which is the power armor or brotherhood of steel as we can see it is very detailed with a lot of chunky pieces uh, the sculpt is really pretty all the way around there we go um, the paint on this one not my favorite though I think the other one, there was like detail with the dirt and stuff. And this one, you can kind of see there's like rust, not rusting, but like marks in the metal. I think they should have made it dirtier. Like it's, it's going through the wasteland. I'm just picky. This one also is like very monochromatic in my opinion. Like there's like three colors. There's silver, gray, and like matte gray. I don't know, like a taupe, if you will. It seems like a lot more energy was put into the sculpt than the actual paint, which is fine. That's fine. Um, as for points of articulation, there's like not really hardly any, but I mean, there is just as many as the Lone Wanderer, but this one, because it's so chunky, it's really hard to move it. And I mean, like the knees, like that's not gonna happen. Uh, this one comes with a laser rifle, which I thought was really cool because, like, I'm just a really big energy weapons fan. The only problem is, it doesn't fit in the figure's hand, like, at all. And that's just really upsetting to me because I'm really picky and I take all my figures out of the box. Oh, almost all of them. And it just doesn't work. I don't know why. It's, like, partially because it's a gigantic gun and this thing can barely move. And it's partially because it doesn't fit into the fingers of the figure, but it's cute. You can turn it into a keychain or something, I don't know. But yeah, um, so that's it for our Funko Legacy Fallout collection. Show them both, they're friends. So thank you for watching and make sure to subscribe. Bye. I'm not a huge fan of Funko Legacy. The leg just fell off. We'll just put it back on, it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna have to edit that. <laughs>